Welcome to my lecture online. It is always a good idea that you remember at least a few of the basic forms of these polar functions. So let's first investigate what r equals some constant times the sine of theta or the sine of some constant time theta looks like. Notice that when it comes to the sine, there's some similarities or there's some unique properties. For example, when the angle is sine of 1 theta, then the first leaf is directed straight upward. When it's the sine of three, 3 theta, one of the leaves is directly downward. When it's the sine of 5 theta, one of the leaves is directly upward and so forth. So you can see that pattern right there. Secondly, notice when you have the sine of theta, there's only one leaf. When you have the sine of 3 theta, there's three leaves. When you have the sine of 5 theta, there's five leaves. But when the number k, the constant in front of theta, is an even number, then there's twice as many leaves as the number. So the sine of 2, k, uh, 2 theta, there's 4 leaves, and the sine of 4 theta, there's 8 leaves, and so the assumption is the sine of 6 theta would be 12 leaves. Also notice that when we have even, when we have an even number from the theta, that none of the leaves is directly on top of any one of the axes. It's always skewed to one side or the other. Notice that in the case of the sine of 4 theta, the angle between each of the leaves is 45 degrees, so from the x-axis is 22 and a half up, minus 22 and a half down, then there's a 45 degree angle between the two, so this would then vary from the positive y-axis by 22 and a half degrees, 22 and a half degrees, so the total is 45 degrees and so forth. Also notice that if a number is in front, like 2, then instead of the leaves only being equal to 1 in height, the, the leaves are now 2 in height. So in this case, there the leaf would be 2 in height, 2 in height, 2 in height, and 2 in height there. So as you change this number, you just simply make the leaves longer. But the position of the leaves depends upon the angle itself and the constant in front of the angle. So the general rule is that if k is an odd number, k equals the number of leaves. But if k is an even number, the number of leaves is twice the number k, so it's double the number of leaves. So that gives you a fairly good idea what the function r equals some constant times the sine of some constant times theta looks like. In the next video, we'll do the same thing, but then we'll use the, sine, the cosine instead of the sine to see where the differences are. At least, it gives you some basic idea for some of the basic shapes that you're running into when you're dealing with polar coordinates and when you're dealing with trying to graph some of these. That's how we do that.